Hi everyone, this is example 4 on flow meters. A 300mm by 150mm Venturi meter is installed in a vertical pipeline carrying water as shown in the accompanying illustration. The flow is upward through the meter, a differential manometer containing carbon tetrachloride of specific gravity 1.5 is attached to inlet and throat. The difference Z in gauge levels being 762 mm. Neglecting friction, so head loss negligible. Determine the flow rate, so this is theoretical flow rate. Determine the difference in pressure heads between the inlet and throat. And if the head loss due to friction is 100 mm of water, determine the actual flow rate. And what is the corresponding meter coefficient? So this is the given figure. Take note that the flow is upward and vertical, therefore... Z1 is 0 and Z2 is 0 0.305. We will call that Y. So the formula for direct formula for theoretical discharge is given by pi over 4 diameter 1 square times diameter 2 square square root of 2 GH all over quantity diameter 1 to the fourth minus diameter 2 to the fourth. So that's the theoretical discharge formula, pi over 4 diameter 1 square, diameter 2 square, square root of 2GH over diameter 1 to the 4th minus diameter 2 to the 4th, which I derived in my lecture video on flow meters. So let's just solve for H. H is difference in pressure head and elevation head at 1, minus and the difference in pressure head and elevation head at 2. Where elevation head at 1 is 0, this is the reference. So only Z2 has a value which is equal to 0 0.305 as shown. Now to get the difference in pressure heads, we sum up pressure from 0.1 down along this differential manometer then until we reach this point at the same level as that of this point here which has the same pressure. So P1 plus we go down by Y and Z and this is filled with water. So gamma water times Y plus Z, we are now at this point. Then we jump across here because these two points are on the same level, same pressure by principle. Then we rise, so minus, this is carbon tetrachloride, so minus specific weight of carbon tetrachloride times Z. Look at the equation there. Then we we rise again by Y plus 0 0.305 and this is water so minus gamma specific weight of water times quantity Y plus 0 0.305 and we reach this point here at the same level as 2. So that's why we equate it to pressure at 2. So simplifying, P sub 1 minus P sub 2 equals specific weight of carbon tetrachloride Z. And take note that gamma water Y will be cancelled here. So gamma of carbon tetrachloride Z plus 0 0.305 gamma of water and minus gamma of water Z. So that's a simplification. Then we divide everything by gamma of water because the flowing liquid is water. So P sub 1, pressure head at 1, minus pressure head at 2, equals gamma of carbon tetrachloride over gamma of water Z, plus 0 0.305 minus Z. So that's the equation. So the ratio of specific weight of carbon tetrachloride to that of water is specific gravity of carbon tetrachloride, which is 1.5. So replace this by 1.5, replace Z by 0.762. So pressure head difference between 1 and 2 is 1.5 times 0.762 minus 0.305 minus 0.762. So that pressure head difference is equal to 0.686 meter of water. Then we now evaluate H. So P1 over gamma of water minus P2 over gamma of water is 0.686. 
z1 is 0, then minus z2, and z2 is 0.305 as shown in the figure. So h is 0.381 meters of, meter of water. Having found h, we can now compute the theoretical discharge, pi over 4 times 0.3 square times 0.15 square times square root of 19.62 times 0.381 over 0.3 to the 4th minus 0.15 to the 4th. So solving for the theoretical discharge in cubic meter per second, 0 0.04990 cubic meter per second. Let's now proceed to 4.2, the difference in pressure heads between the inlet and throat. Actually, we have already computed it. This is the answer, 0 0.686 meter of water. Then 4.3, if the head loss due to friction is 100 mm of water, determine the actual flow rate. The actual flow rate is same equation. This is now actual when we replace H by quantity H minus head loss. And since we already computed H, so it is just pi over 4.3 square, 0.15 square times square root of 19.62 times quantity 0.381 minus 0.1 meter of water, 100 mm over 0.3 to the 4th minus 0.15 to the 4th. So computing, it is equal to 0 0.04285 cubic meter per second. Finally, what is the corresponding meter coefficient? Meter coefficient is, you may use square root of quantity small h minus head loss over small h. But this time, I'll use actual discharge over theoretical discharge because we have computed them already. So C equals actual over theoretical, and C is 0.8587. So I want you to verify this value by using the other formula, square root of 0.381 minus 0.1 over 0.381. And that's the other way.